<laughs> A midnight fight? Danger or dispute? That's my question. How do we turn that candle on? I have no idea. What the hell? Please don't be something alive. terrible. I think someone's in trouble. Is oh it God. us? No, 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 not right now. But we should help them. If it's a monster, we should kill it. I don't think it is. Uh, something much worse. You got your gun. Uh-huh. I'll be right back. Stay safe. Here we go. Do we take this with us? Don't have the option. Anything we could take right now. Just want to make sure we're prepared. Probably shouldn't be wasting time. Alright, let's go. Please don't be something that relates to what we were doing in that train house. Please don't be the dude who came back to murder everyone. Please just be something unrelated to my existence that I could just chime in on. Follow the noise. Well, I'm doomed because I can't hear anything. No, it's Not getting quiet bit. again. Okay, so wrong way. Go over here. Is it uh, in Marlon's office? Just a little farther. Not in here. Basement. This one. This locks from both sides. Can't pick it. I have to find another way to the basement. A cellar door out in the yard. Okay, let's go. to the basement around here. Find the cellar door. Do I gotta hurry, or can I take my time? Well, that was quick. Hopefully there weren't any Easter eggs. Get something. Break the lock. Okay. Well, what do we use? Oh, there's a big open field. Oh, wrong way. I know it's the wrong way, but like, you didn't let me do anything. Do I inspect it again? Not the right way. I know it's not the right way. It's gonna be stupid. Oh wait, here it is. <gasps> Tiger Lily. Oh, wait, not Tiger Lily. It's just that she looks like a dog I know named Tiger Lily. So, and yes, I know that's a hilarious stinking name for a dog. <laughs> Uh, hmm, you don't want to wake Rosie? Okay, should be helpful, possibly. Uh, let's see. I'm kind of nervous now. It's the wrong way. This is where we came from. I'm just worried that something terrible is happening and I could be too late to stop it. Oh god, I hope that's not a thing. Um, oh god, oh, that camera shift, it, like, it made me think like something was happening. Now I can't even find- oh, hello. Grab brick, awesome! Handy dandy brick, brick, heavy. I love the descriptions. Uh, here we go. 
Oh, Tiger Lily's gonna wake up. I keep calling her Tiger Lily. Mind if I brick you a question? sound like a polite conversation. What are you fighting about? It's really none of your business. Go back to the dorm. The man you met at the station! We got history. Rody! Don't listen to her, Clem. She's acting crazy. She gets this way sometimes. She's just got to tune it out. Don't be afraid, Brody. Say what you have to say. What history? Marlon let him take the twins. Him and his people. What? Ten sisters. I thought they were killed by walkers. That's the story we told everyone. Shut up! Because Marlon was so ashamed hey, of what- Shut up! Oh my god! Uh, what'd you say? Oh my god, no, did you kill her? Shit. I'm sorry. Shit! What have you done? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You're gonna be okay. I promise. God damn it! Help! Did you say that? I told you not to say it! How? What can I do? Just, just stay with her. There's a first aid kit down here somewhere, right? First aid kit? Brody, oh my God. it's me, Clem. Just, just stay still. Uh, who? Uh, I, I, I can't see. Clementine, remember? Clem, you're in danger. You and AJ both. What danger? Marlon will kill me if I tell. He's scared. And when he's scared, he gets angry. Brody, if there's a threat to AJ, you have to tell me. Everything is so faint. I can't feel my legs. Please, try and focus. If those raiders come back, Marlon said he'd let them take you. Take us? To make him go away. <laughs> like he did. <laughs> Like he did with ten sisters. Brody. Oh, fuck. No. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. What the hell am I gonna do? What? Son of a bitch, don't do this! I'm sorry. I can't let you talk to the others. Oh my god. something moving back there. 
And she's gonna come back. Why are we going so slow? Oh god. Okay. Oh, she turned. Is that a... Yes, this will work. Just gonna hurry up. We're gonna have to get rid of Brody eventually. Let's not focus on that now, I guess. Even though we should. I feel like the batteries are gonna run out sooner or later. I don't even know where we are. Yeah, she's gone. Okay, we gotta do this. Hold. Just do it, Clem. Is that a brick? No. All right, let's go. A ruler. Even grab it. Grab it. Oh my God. X X X X X X X. Circle. Okay then. Oh my God. She's right there. No! Don't you dare! Don't you dare! Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! Hurry, go, go, go! Uh, go, go, go! I'm sorry. But I just never knew what to expect. Where's AJ? Put the gun down. Get this fucking psycho away from me. Where is she? she she's in the basement. She murdered Brody. What? Is that blood on your face? Why Brody? Did you see it happen? Is she a walker now? Hey, Marlin! You might want to get your story straight. Clem! You killed Brody. You hit her so hard, her head split open. That's a lie! I saw you kill her! What the hell is going on? Look at her hands! She's covered in Brody's blood! Jesus Christ, Clem, what did you do? We saved their lives when anyone else would have kept walking! We fed them, we kept them warm, and this is how they thank us! Guns being pulled in murder! Well, fuck them! Fuck! Marlin! Jesus Christ! You shoot me, and what do you offer up to your raider friends when they come knocking? What the hell is she talking about? Don't do it, because he needs us alive! Shut up! Brody told me Marlin was gonna give me and AJ up to raiders in exchange for safety! The same way he gave up Sophie and Minnie! Oh my god! Shut the fuck up, Clementine! Let her talk! Brody told me the truth, and that's when Marlin killed her! Oh, come the fuck on! They only met up with these raiders because Clem insisted they go out there! Quite the coincidence, isn't it? Shane, I don't believe in those. Think 
about how scared we all were when the adults left. I pulled us out of that fear. I gave us all courage again. Who are you all gonna believe, huh? Johnny come lately and a little fucking lunatic? Or me, your friend? She did help us get food. What good is food if a group of outsiders oh my God. come along and take oh, it? Oh, jeez. I'm just saying. Man, this is fucked up. We don't know her, y'all. I hate to say it, but we don't. But you have to believe me. You don't! You met her like two days ago! I don't know you, Clem. Not really. Are you serious? I'm sorry. This isn't like you. I know you're not weak! Don't let her get in your head. Hey, what would Minnie want you to do? She was my friend, too. So sprouty. Clem, I... <sighs> Shit. It will all feel safer once I pull this trigger. I know you know bullshit. Smell it a mile away. And you're telling me you buy his story? Oh, wow. Violet being difficult. Why am I not surprised? Put down the gun now. We're gonna do this the right way. Stand down, Marvel. Be reasonable. Tiger Lily, please be on our side too. You don't understand at all, do you? I'm trying to protect you! Don't do anything stupid, AJ. All of you! Every fucking one of you! How does pointing a loaded gun around protect anyone? Brody's dead. Sophie and Minerva are gone. Suck at protection. Shut your fucking mouth. Don't you dare, don't you dare. I made the right call. I saved the lives of everyone in this fucking school. They came back. I do it again. Excuse me? I didn't realize we were so fucking expendable. They told me they died. I had to save the rest of you, okay? You gave my sisters away. <laughs> Why would you do something like that? I trusted you, Marlin. They trusted you. Easy, because he's a coward. Changed in a good way or bad way? I wanted to get them. Staves, some kind of rescue. Honest, Ted, I just couldn't. I was, I was too afraid. You killed Brody because she knew. I didn't mean to. I didn't want this. I wanted to save all of you. Sophie. Minerva. I didn't want to hurt them. We can still fix this, Marlin. It's going to be okay. We can make this right. We'll help you. We're all family here. The only one any of us has left. Wow. Oh my god. I know I betrayed you. All of you. Just let me leave. Never have to see me again. Don't make me decide on that. Just let me become a bad memory. Just give me that. Please. Oh, God. Fine. What? No! What? What? I saved one for me. 
Oh my god. Oh no. Oh hey, they're not spoiling the next episode! Did they stop doing that last time? I don't remember. You and 42% of players chose to let AJ go through the window in the train station. 58% of players killed the walker couple in the train station. Does AJ always do that? Oh god, that's what I want to know. Did I do something to make him jump the gun? Is it because I killed that guy? Oh my god. Oh my god, no. I feel like we could have we could have fixed everything. No. You and 48% of players went hunting with Lewis in a sim. 52% of players went fishing with Violet and Brody. And oh, hey, more music that I need to mute because copyright. Oh, uh, let's see. Uh, you and 66% of players convince AJ to sleep in the bed. 34% of players let him sleep on under the bed. Okay. Oh. Uh, you and 78% of players attacked Abel rather than give him food. 22% of players surrendered the food table. But I want to know what happens. There's no way he just leaves. But they said he, he had a group. He's part of a group, so... Either way, there are people coming for us because it's Walking Dead, so of course there are. Oh, God. You and 66% of players turned to Violet for help against Marlin. 34% of players turned to Lewis for help against Marlin. I don't know, because like, I've been all about Lewis this entire time, but... I don't know. I feel like I could have gotten through to Violet more in that situation. I know Lewis and Marlon were best friends. Um, I just know that Violet's like a lot more level-headed. Huh, I don't know. I don't know why I went to her, but like I'm glad I did. I was sort of worried that like I didn't spend enough time with her throughout this episode, so she wouldn't have sided with me. But I'm glad it worked. Huh? You and forty-two percent players. Okay, that's it. That's seriously it. I'm afraid if I hit the arrow, then it's going to, like, go away. But I do it anyway. Oh, wait. Hold on. You and 42% players chose to let AJ go through the windows. Yeah, it's just, like, all the final choices. And then with AJ... 31% left AJ feeling ruthless? What did I do to make him feel ruthless? I kept the walkers alive? We were having a compassionate drawing? The AJ felt con comforted when you convinced him to sleep on the bed... He was satisfied when you attacked Abel at the train station. Please don't tell me this is my fault. That be, I will feel horrible if he doesn't kill him because I didn't push him out of the train station. Oh my god, no. Absolutely no, no, no. Oh no, Lewis, I'm sorry. 66% left Lewis feeling heartbroken. You felt lonely when you chose to hunt rabbits with a sim. What do you felt lonely? It's just I I don't find joy in that sort of activity. I'm sorry. I like you so stinking much, but no, not in that situation. Like that was just pointless, I guess. When you told him about killing a loved one, he sympathized with your pain. Heartbroken. No, buddy. Now I feel bad, but. Oh, he's gonna- oh my god, he's gonna be sticking miserable. I gotta win him back somehow. Oh, uh, 48, 49% left, 10 feeling bitter, 10 was understanding of your hes hesitancy when you first met him. When you allowed him to draw you, he generously gifted you his drawing. But he was bitter? He didn't seem bitter. I thought we were friends. Is he just bitter because, like, we kept the- Crayons, which I felt bad. That wasn't even a stat, though. That wasn't a stat in the end. Okay, so I guess it's not super important, but I don't know. I feel like that's not completely accurate. I, he didn't seem bitter to me. Oh, God. 66% left Violet feeling guilty. She was annoyed when you didn't rebuff Lewis's flirtations. 
uh, Violet was flattered after you comforted her in the dorm rooms. Okay, but she's still feeling guilty. This is confusing. And how many possible outcomes are there for all these different characters? Oh my god. <laughs> Brody, dead. She was appalled when you- Oh god, it's gonna have a percentage of how many people- Oh god, well, I'll find out if uh, Marlon dying is optional or not. She was appalled when you downplayed the encounter with Abel. I'm sorry, Brody. I'm really, really sorry. There's no way I could have prevented that, though. I, bro I There's no way Brody doesn't die. She dies here no matter what. And as for Marlin... It doesn't tell you. Marlin was relieved to be forgiven for his actions towards the twins and Brody. He felt proud when you trusted him with Rosie. I wish there was a percentage of something like it told you whether or not it's an option. I have no idea now. We'll never know. Well, I guess you can know if you look up all the endings on YouTube, but don't do that because you should play this game for yourself and have your own experience. <sighs> and what the heck? The state of the school, Omar. I uh, was glad you checked in on him before dinner. What Ruby was disgusted by AJ's bad manners at dinner. I'm sorry, I tried to stop him. Mitch was happy to show off his weaponry skills to you. A sim appreciated that you helped him hunt rabbits. Didn't do a good job, but I still did it. Willie was fascinated by you when you met him for the first time. You learned how to bond with Rosie uh, with Marlon's help. Oh, hold on. I got the deer head. What are you? Oh, wait, no, that is the deer head. Three or six items during this episode. Uh, I could have gotten some flower vases and a cow skull head. Okay. So it's cool. You could decorate the room and stuff. But... I guess that's it. I gotta say, Telltale really stepped it up this time. I loved this first episode. It was two and a, it was we're at two hours and fifty minutes right now, so that's pretty stinking awesome in and of itself. We um I I had a lot of fun with these characters, like they're very likable. It was a very level headed group. There was, of course, some secret hidden beneath it. The biggest problem in this group right now is AJ. That's horrible that he's the problem one, and like I guess that makes sense because like he's our responsibility, and we gotta change him. I don't understand. Oh, if I I should have grabbed that gun. It's just that like I didn't want it to seem like a threatening situation by like grabbing the gun from Marlin. But it's because I talked him down. Like, that was the non-violent way out. Like, just talking him down and just leveling with him. But, like, maybe I wouldn't have succeeded in grabbing the gun away from him. Maybe he would have shot someone else. I don't know. I don't know. Like, it just feels... This game feels a lot bigger. It feels, like, a lot more branching. I don't know if that's true or not because I don't look up the alternate endings until the game is finished. But... That was just really incredible. I don't know where it's headed. I don't know what lies in store for Clem and AJ and everyone else in this group. There's a lot of things I like about this game, though. It's a lot more of a positive note. It's just weird to say that. It's like, I'm just enjoying this game when I didn't think I would. It's the final season of The Walking Dead. And I have no idea how it's going to end. Well, only one way to find out, and that's to keep going forward. As usual, I'll be uploading these episodes as soon as they come out. This LP will be finished whenever the game itself is finished. Don't really have a say in it, but it's a let's play that just continues on throughout the year. I hope you guys are okay with that. Next time on The Walking Dead... Season 4, the final season. 
we're going to start episode two. This is Midnight and Beyond, and I will see you all later. Good night.